There's something so beautiful about simplicity, about trimming things down, about having minimalism in different realms of your life, different areas, different... Sometimes options are too much, you know? So <laughs> sometimes I really, really envy people who they're able to just focus and their life is boring. And I, I don't mean that in a negative sense. I mean they have this and that and one more thing and that's it. And it's like a superpower just to be able to focus. I don't mean in the sense of ADD. I mean our lives are so multifaceted. There's so many things going on. There's so much to keep track of. The, you remember... Um, Remember an older person in your life when you were a kid, they would always ask you how a remote works or what's the setting on the VCR, what did you change? Hey, can you help me come figure out this electronic doohickey? Whatever it is, right? I look at this phone that I'm filming a, a video on and if I touch the screen, these little bars appear and I can adjust all these little settings. I didn't know these settings existed before five minutes ago when I sat down and my thumb accidentally touched the screen. Uh, <laughs> we're not really aware of everything that's going on in the world, and I think that's the default state of what it is to be human. You're not supposed to know about things that are happening outside of your sphere of awareness. And <laughs> it's just a constant barrage of information, whether you're following the news or learning something to advance your career or studying for a test or talking to Sally about what Jack said or if your car needs an oil change you got to look up all these different places that can do the specific thing your car needs on top of the oil change <laughs> and then what even is an oil change how does that work with car engines and now you go down a rabbit hole to figure out how your car works and there's just a lot of stuff in existence and I really envy those groups of people, those people who can just like hone it down and not have so much in their life. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking of it like a diet, like uh, what you eat. If you ate everything constantly, you would be very sick. It's kind of like that with information or whatever your mind is focusing on. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking of some kind of monk you know, you clear your mind, you go meditate and empty your mind of thought and then go from there. Uh, because we're constantly swimming in this distractedness, whether it's for entertainment or information or personal gain or just to avoid boredom. I'm not describing a dopamine fast. I'm not describing like being that monk, some Zen figure that goes on top of a mountain and ignores everything. Or, but I, I think we're bombarded constantly with stuff, whether it's information or little tweaky bars on your phone. There's just too much stuff. So I've been thinking about that lately and how I can, I can use via negativa in my life, you know take away stuff to make stuff better. Remove things to improve things. It's just on my mind today. Just the idea I have. We'll see what comes up tomorrow. Good luck to you trimming away the, the fat <laughs> from your life. Whatever the thing is that's distracting you from boredom or from the thing you have to do or or the plethora of things running through your mind that seem overwhelming. Good luck. I hope you find the peace you're looking for today. Talk to you tomorrow.